Uh, this is uh, today's agenda. I will cover CT reconstruction. So there are three keys. Uh, Fourier slice theorem. Uh, this is not the uh, uh, reconstruction algorithm, but uh, this is a uh, general property of uh, some projection. And then I will introduce two reconstruction algorithm. So one is a direct reconstruction using Fourier slice theorem. And then the other one is a convolution back projection. And uh, unfortunately, uh, this direct reconstruction using Fourier slice theorem, uh, this is a very beautiful theorem, but uh, it's very hard to implement it in real world. So most of people use this uh, convolution back projection. But uh, I will introduce both of them. And then uh, I just assume the CT geometry is a, a parallel beam geometry. So, uh, I think Professor Bowman uh, talked about fan beam geometry last week. But the parallel beam geometry, this is the older generation CT. So, okay, this is... Uh, so there is uh, some object. Maybe I should check. And this is a detector. detector. And par parallel beam is basically just beams are parallel. And then we acquire the data on this detector. And then we just change the angle and we keep collecting the data. And on the other hand, fan beam. Fan beam is a one, there's a source. There's an object. And then this is a detector. And then, okay, this is a uh, um, parallel, parallel beam. This is a uh, fan So I think Professor Bowman talked about this fan beam geometry last week. But uh, in this lecture, we just assume we use this parallel beam CT reconstruction. Actually, uh, this is the first generation CT geometry. Actually, how it works is uh, there's uh, one source here and one detector here. And then we uh, get data and just move like this and keep, uh, aqua keep just uh, taking the data. So, okay. Uh, Little bit here, uh, let's refresh the memory about the CT projections. So, uh, first of all, uh, many medical imaging systems can only measure the projections through an object with density FXY. And then we are looking at this line, angle theta, and this is the object. And then actually, uh, here, this looks like uniform, but it doesn't have to be uniform. The density can be varying values. And then, onto a line with angle theta, we take a projection in this direction. And then we get this uh, P theta R. So this is the projection. This is the measurement we get through CT. And actually, uh, in reality, this is not actual measurement we get. What we get is uh, attenuated number of photons instead of this number. But uh, we, e we can easily calculate 
uh, this uh, projection from those uh, attenuated uh, photon counts. So, okay, uh, here, let's say, for example, this value, this value corresponds to the integral along this line. And then this flood projection P are known as a radon transform. So if you hear the term radon transform, this is, means just projections. Then what we really want to do is uh, we want to uh, find the equation to express the projection. So we, con uh, we consider uh, integration along projections. So first we define, uh, we consider the function fxy. Actually, uh, this is original. original image. This is original image value. And then uh, we compute the projections by integrating along z for each r. So we are thinking about this line with angle theta, and then we take projections. Then if we calculate the projection integral, the equation is like this. Okay. So P theta R equal, we want to take an integral along Z direction. We take integral in this direction. And then uh, we want to uh, take an integral, but uh, unfortunately this Fxy value we can access the image value on, only through the xy coordinate. So we have to change the RZ to uh, xy coordinate values. So uh, we transform RZ to xy coordinate values. So we have to multiply A theta. And then if we write it down, this equation, we can get this equation. So this is the uh, equation for the uh, projection. And this projection is also uh, called Radon transform. And here is the here is the next page. Uh, but this is the uh, same equation. So the radon transform of the function, so projection of the function is defined as p theta r, and the equation can be written like this. And then uh, geometric interpretation I explained before, but uh, it's the same thing, just like we are, we take projection onto a line with angle theta. And then one thing uh, we have to note is uh, origin on xy coordinate is mapped to zero along r axis. This is our assumption. Okay, so now uh, we are ready to study uh, Fourier slice transform. <laughs>